Back, yeah. I'm Mark hey, Wilbright with the Greenwall Mojo blog, and I'm here on the 24th of March, uh, and we're down in Houston, Texas. And we're here with Jason Miller from Clark Condon Associates and Trey Kirby. He's a, he's a rep that handles Smart Slope down here in Texas. And uh, a couple of years ago, Clark Condon Associates, you know, specified and had built what they call, a, what do you call this, a living bridge? Yeah. Living Bridge Project, and it's since won awards from the city and uh, Urban Land Institute. Is that true? And uh, possibly a Texas ASLA. Possibly Texas ASLA, and uh, you know, obviously highly landscaped area here, and they've got uh, a modular block wall designed to be planted. Uh, it was the Hercules system, which is a block that I invented about 20 years ago, and it's the predecessor of, of my new block, Smart Slope, and. Um, We've got what varieties of plant material are actually in the modules themselves? Um, we have coral honeysuckle, they're all vines. Coral honeysuckle, Confederate jessamine, and um, cross vine. They're all what you would call more adaptive or native adaptive plants for this area. Awesome. awesome. Well, let's take a walk and take a look at this thing. That honeysuckle is fantastic right now. Now, did you design it to flower at different times of year? No, they just do flower at different times of the year. Uh, the, the Confederate jessamine has already pretty much flowered. That's a yellow flower. Um, it'll flower all during the year, but not as much as it did in early, early spring. The coral honeysuckle is now coming out. And uh, the cross vine, I think it's a late summer. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's a late summer. It's a bigger, more trumpet looking flower as opposed to a little firecracker looking. So this wall maxes out at 15 or 16 feet. They're not just individual. We've got these different plants, you know, swirled around in here in different groups, and they're flowering at different times, different textures. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. Doesn't get any better for a pedestrian trail or bike trail. Look at the uh, quality of that. Jason's going to take us down. There's a, a staircase that goes down on one side. Oh, this is just gorgeous. I can see why they've won some awards. And here we go. We're down in here where we can actually get access. You can see there are there are block in there, although you have to hack your way in to be sure. And that is the beauty of this. You really want it not to look like a wall is there. You want it to go away. And that's exactly what's happening here. And I can see why this is an award winner. There's some of the Confederate blooms right there with huh? the honeysuckle. Okay, oh yeah. The, the last bit of the Confederate. Yep, yes, into the honeysuckle. Okay. The, this wall is uh, drip irrigated. And you can see we've got a little emitter snapped in there into the tubing and their intention was to irrigate this for the first couple of years to get the plants well established and then to cut it off thereafter. It's a great piece of habitat, green space, cool in temperature, cool in the eyes, uh, high traffic So we've got area. this pedestrian slash bike trail coming in here on this little railroad bridge and highway running right next door and here's the abutment on this side. Look at that. That's fantastic. Excellent growth over here. We'll go to the other side and when we get some of those sunny shots, it will knock your socks off. Well, this is great. Nice being here with the with the landscape architect that specified it and worked through the construction with it. the camera on, but Jason was just explaining that this is just a standard bridge deck and they filled this whole thing like a bowl filled with soil and edge to edge. And then they put the sidewalk with a pathway, you know, so, you know, kind of floating on top of it down the middle. So they've got, you know, full depth plantings all the way along here, and you really don't have the perception that you're up on top of big concrete bridge spot like you'd have on a highway. You know, it seems like you're uh, on, on ground level. On a built up ground. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the level of thought that went into this project is fantastic. I was just mentioning that in my 20 plus years of doing vegetative walls, I don't think I've ever seen one that was this completely and well done. This is uh, blows away my expectations.
they were just educating me. You see these uh, these blue flowers here, blue bonnet. That's the Texas State flower. They got it all going on here. That's a wild flower. It's just native. That's wild. Wow. 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 So this is the honeysuckle yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah. Hey, you gonna get in trouble for picking no, I'm that? Not. I'm trying to show you the filter that you can see where the honey comes from. The tray's broken a lot. Yeah, and now at home, my, my kids always pull that and suck that honey yeah. out of there. Now, I would call this trumpet vine based on the flower, but it's not trumpet vine, is no, it? No, it's not. It's, it's cross vine. It's cross vine. Well, it's prolific. You're, uh, still, well, you, you guys still are, bloom a little bit while you're on. You guys are definitely a friend of native pollinators here, <laughs> you know? Which, you know, I know people don't talk about it enough, but when we build, we get rid of habitat area that, that would have supported native pollinators. Now we've got a crisis where we're having, you know, not enough bees, and it's things like this that help bring back habitat. Well, that's a member. Right, now, here we are. I took a lot of shots in the shade, now we got some of the brilliant sun shots. Man, oh man, this thing really pops out. Yeah, I'm kinda getting hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, of course, we got the MSE panel wall there. And we got uh, some form of a block wall, segment of block wall there. And uh, I gotta say, I'm in love with that living wall there. Sunny side. The project manager for, uh, for this one is Chip Perry. Chip Perry. It's like I'll do the medic part. That's what that page That was, we've done, that was another project we've done. It was more of like Permeal paving. That was the first city park. That was a park that was in Permeal in Houston. So, they, they let us do that as a, uh, a test project for them to see how it would work. Yeah, I want to use this quite a bit. Even though it's not slow, it's, you know, it's the predecessor of our father and us. So it's very similar to the back pocket. Fantastic.